Good morning, 47. Our Providence contact has shared the identity of the Shadow Client, a former mercenary and bodyguard by the name of Lucas Gray. His past is a black void, but our analysts are digging deep. Meanwhile, we've had a breakthrough of our own. Comparing the malicious attack patterns with global shipping and transportation routes, we've figured out how Mr. Gray and his paramilitaries move around the world undetected. They're using the distribution network of the Delgado Cartel, Colombia's biggest drug manufacturer. Clearly, Gray must have struck a deal with the Delgados. Consequently, if we can cripple the cartel, we can severely limit the malicious strike range. But to do so, we need to slay a three-headed serpent. Sociopathic cartel head Rico Delgado and his two closest lieutenants, PR guru Andrea Martinez and servant chemist Jorge Franco. With equal parts guts and guile, Rico Delgado runs a thriving billion-dollar criminal empire. The word is, the brutal and volatile cartel head is hell-bent on becoming the number one drug lord in the world. To achieve this, Martinez, a childhood friend of Delgado's, has been buttering up state leaders and decision makers, paving the way for an expansion of the Delgado logistics network, while the brilliant but aloof and antisocial Franco has been hard at work developing a new type of super cocaine. So, three of Colombia's most infamous crime lords inhabiting a decidedly hostile environment. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Colombia, 47. The remote village of Santa Fortuna awaits you deep inside the Colombian rainforest. An iron-fisted Delgado cartel rules over the village and its surroundings. Security around Santa Fortuna and the closed-off cartel compound is extremely tight. Armed Sicarios patrol the streets of the village, ready to enforce harsh punishments to those who do not comply. Rumors persist of hidden transportation cave systems connecting the village, the cartel compound, and the hidden coca fields beyond. It is a rare occurrence to have all three cartel leaders present in the village at the same time. Expect that all targets are protected by scrupulous killers armed with automatic weapons. Rico Delgado inhabits his fortified mansion on the outskirts of the village, while Andrea Martinez can be found in her village office, or around Santa Fortuna itself. And Jorge Franco is engaged in development of a new drug in his field laboratory. Happy hunting, 47.
Martinez is down. Good work. What's up, man? Sit down, relax. The universe will correct itself back, right? I don't know, man. I've been like smuggling this cocaine souvenir around the world, right? I need to get it to this dude, uh, Franco. Man, it, it broke. It's supposed to be in one piece when I delivered over by some cave entrance behind the pharmacy, but it broke. So, a drug dealer from Sapienza has been testing a new method for smuggling Delgado brand cocaine into Europe, baking the substance into souvenirs, coated in a special anti-drug detection paint solution. The dealer has been traveling the globe, testing the method. However, he accidentally broke the souvenir on arrival and needs to mend it before going to see Franco. Maybe just glue it together? I don't know. I think it's gonna ruin the taste test. This Franco guy is like a bloodhound, but, you know, with taste, not smell. You know? Yeah, man, that's too bad. I'd still try to glue it. How may I help you today, senor? I'd like to buy some glue, please. No, I'm afraid we just ran out of that item, senor. I sold the last bottle to the mechanic next door. Do you sell glue? A la puta! Can you please go away from me? I'm hot, and you're not. Oh, yes. Are you trying to choke that person? Oh, yeah. What the hell is that? Have some respect for the dead. 
And off. Nice day. No drama. I just need to check your pockets if you want to pass. It's just as awkward for me as it is for you. Okay, let's go, man. Thank you. All right. Mr. Franco is expecting you in the caves below. I'll just radio the others. Hang on. Groovy. Carlos, tell Franco his guest is here. Oye, amigo, you need to back off now. All right, come with me. Try not to get lost, okay? Place this kind of dangerous. I'll do my best. So I guess all that make love not worth thing has sort of lost its luster, huh? Peace and love isn't really my thing. sort of breaking the hidden code. I do what it takes to get what I need. Ah, you're 
expect that. Have a seat. Rango's on his way. Ah, so, despite an annoying delay, it's finally here. Let's have a look. It got through customs without a problem, we hope. I had no issues. Excellent. We're not sure whether this will pass the taste test, but that remains to be seen. Follow us, please. Nice one, 47. And now for Franco to sample his handiwork. Franco confirmed down. Nice work, 47. I mean, he's only the biggest celebrity tattoo artist in the world. Maybe he's here to see that Delgado guy we've been hearing about. Sounds like he's got money to spare. So, P Power, celebrity tattooist of Tattoo Torment fame, has come to Santa Fortuna, presumably to work his magic on Rico Delgado, a known ink enthusiast. Sounds like an invitation to the mansion, 47. Are you feeling expressive? That is P Power, real name Paul Powers, celebrity tattoo artist and reality TV star. Mate, I'm telling you, I've been in some crazy shit before, but this takes the cake. Just knock on the front gate, they said. And then what? Walk in and tattoo the world's most notorious cartel boss. I can see how that's not easy. I heard he kills me. Just for fun. Imagine what he'd do to me if I messed up. I'm sure he's dangerous. But this is why you need to look out for
Dexie is me. Dexie is... Dexie. Dexie! Damn it, can you hear? Oh, this damn music! Dexie, hang on, I'm heading outside. Yeah, Dexie, it's me. Look, I'm in real trouble here. Call me back, all right? That power guy? Hang on, man. I hope you don't mind, but we need to please me. You're not coming this way unless I buy you down first. That's not open for discussion. You like that spice stuff, senor? Like Bond, then Mission Impossible. Sure you do. Everybody loves that shit. Okay, All right, go, Mr. Let's go, parcero, mueva, si. This is the guy I wanted to meet. He's a big fan. Si, take it to Rico. My sister got her the two ones. It was supposed to be a tribute to her son, but the guy fucked it up. Maybe Gustavo ended up looking like a dead chupacabra. When my brother-in-law saw the tattoo, he went down to the guy's house. Shot him. Which was kind of dumb because he was the only that one piece of rock for a half a month. Can't say that ever happened to me. I know. That is Catalina Delgado, wife to Rico Delgado for the past 11 years. Who's that? It's really you, Big Power. It's such an honor to meet you. I just love your show. Yeah. That episode oh, where you tattoo the heart of the husband of that time policeman while they're administrating CPR. <laughs> It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. A great moment. I cherish the memory to this day. Ah, oh, see. So, Rico has this tattoo on his neck, and he insists it's supposed to be based on the photo of me. I'm not a fool, Mr. Powers. My nose never looked like that, not even before the operation. And sure, I've had a few ticks done here and there, but nothing as drastic as that. I want you to make it look like me, not some young skank. I'll do my very best, Mrs. Delgado. Ah, oh, Chico. Let me just grab a quick selfie with you, all right? Sure, why not? Yay! <laughs> just look this way. Oh, can see. Wow, we look so good together. This is great. So far, so good, 47. Now to leave your mark on Mr. Delgado. So, this is the famous P. Power, tattoo artist to the stars. Huh. You don't exactly look like you do on TV, do you? There's something different about you. Cariño, don't insult our guest. He's obviously not been sitting in a stylist chair for days, but this is P power. Who else would it be? Well, what about those cheekbones? The guy on TV didn't have cheekbones like that. Hey, Rico, enough. You know they fix all that in post-production. Just let the man work. Okay, fine. Whatever you say.
I'm ready. Let's get this thing fixed. You are really getting on my nerves now. I'm just grabbing a few shots for the socials. Relax, Rico. I find your constant photography very annoying, dear. I really can't see what the problem is. You need to keep still, Mr. Whoa, Delgado. Hey, Rico, I wouldn't worry. want to stab you by accident. You heard hey, the man, do I not leave us now. Watching. One wrong move, you know, I started Fine. Fine. I did you hear me. But that tattoo better look exactly like me when you're done with your new BFF, Rico. I need you to calm down a bit, Jose. Better safe than sorry, boss. Put the gun away, I'm fine. No way, I'm letting my guard down around this stranger, Rico. Hey, Jose, I need you to leave us alone now. You're too wound up right now. You understand? All right, boss, all right. But I'll be back in a little while if I don't hear from you. Wait, what? Oh, finally. So be so quiet. Can I finish my work now? <laughs> do what you do best, man. You got it. All targets neutralized. This should paralyze the cartel. Excellent work, Ferguson. Now head for an exit. Targets neutralized. Militia transport network disabled. Location of primary target unknown. Team chasing several leads. End message, encrypt and send. for a retrial. It won't make a difference. They're too powerful. They're not the devil, Nancy. Just the company. They're not above the law, don't you see? This is bigger than James. Those bastards killed 80 people. And they got away with it. Think about what that means. No one's untouchable. No one's untouchable. Diana! Coming! Got what we came for. Move out. 